Hello there and welcome to this advanced level tutorial brought to you by Peter's Easy Guide to Windows Movie Maker. Now in this tutorial, basically what I'm wanting to show to you today is two things. Number one, how to create an auto movie. And number two, just the uh, advanced settings that Windows Movie Maker offers to creating and editing videos. So first off, I'm going to be showing you how to create an auto movie. Now I've just imported a video off my C drive here, as you can see. And so, basically what auto movie is, when you've got a film over a length that has a duration longer than 30 seconds, pretty much Windows Movie Maker will automatically create a video for you that is, uh, that can have a title and all those things like that, and it's pretty good if you're in a, in a hurry, so you don't have to do much, all you have to do is click auto movie, go to tools and auto movie and then you can choose the title if you want so I'll just do a quick one, quick one. and then I'll say Peter's movie okay and then as you can see it says analyzing video now because this is an hour and a bit uh, long it's gonna take a while so I'll just uh, stop recording until the end and so as you can see here once it reaches 99 percent after analyzing the video it'll just go into creating the storyboard and timeline so that's all normal for for it as what we would have done originally but it's, as you can see it's done it all for us and it's uh, input our title as you can see there and it's compiled all the all of the uh, video files into the timeline down here so it's done everything for us so that's pretty cool and it's even created transitional effects so um, into some film strips so just to finish it off now all you have to do is press file and save movie file and that's pretty much it for creating a automatic movie it's pretty cool isn't it okay and so as you can see here this is the other file that I'm gonna be uh, showing you how to use some advanced settings so I'll just uh, preview the clip for you wait are you here for me it's not your time Goku there's much left to do Grandpa how how do I defeat Ozaru always her faith in who you are. Tommy. Tommy. Oh. Oh. Human power has failed before. Tommy. As it will. Okay, so as you can see here, um, in this part here between the first and the second one, uh, it doesn't really flow smoothly. It like just switches straight from one scene to another. So what I'm going to be doing is adding titles in between the two clips. Now what you've seen me do before is add credits and a title at the beginning of the movie. So basically t what you need to do to create a title in between two uh, uh, fi files you just go to make titles or credits when it loads and then you do add title after the selected clip in the timeline so I'm going to do it after this clip here okay and so after it's loaded up you just it's pretty much the same as adding a normal title uh, I've done this a bit out of order but it doesn't matter so I'm just going to uh, type in best scene 2 and I'm not going to worry about the title animation, it doesn't matter and then save it
Okay, so after that's saved, I'm just gonna add a, a title and credit to it, so I'll just pause it here. Okay, so now after I've created my three titles, you can see my introduction there, there's one between two clips here, and I've also gotten my credits. Uh, you can also see that I've imported some audio, and what I want to do is drag it down here, and I want to have it uh, play uh, during the parts where there's no audio, so in the parts here where the introduction, middle one, and credits are. So I'm just going to drag it down in here. Okay, so after it's saved, just wait. Okay, so as you can see, it does um go outside of them, so what you need to do is just edit it down as I showed you in the previous tutorial. So you just click and drag, drag it down. So just Okay, now as you can see, I've edited my audio down here, and I'll just play it for you so you can hear. Okay, so as you might hear, if you can hear the music or not, but um, if you don't think that the audio levels, uh, like if you'd like the music higher, or you'd like the actual film higher, then all you have to do is just press this little button here. So this sets the audio levels for both the film strip and the uh, music, so just click that, and uh, I'm going to have the audio from the video a bit higher, so I'm just going to click it onto that. And so that changes it throughout the whole film. And uh, so some other advanced settings. This button here. So this button, once you're uh, playing throughout the movie, in your when you're not in a title section, but when you're in a video section, you can press this part, and it'll actually divide the two. The divide the two files apart. So I'll I'll click it here just for an example. And so as you can see here, I'm just in one of the video uh, files, and you've got this button here which uh, divides the file. And you, this is purely for editing purposes, so um, once you're at a part of a, f out of a video file, say if you didn't like the beginning part of it, you can just go uh, to af just after the part that you didn't like, and you can pause it, and then you can just press this button, and then I'll show you. See, it just splits it in two there and you can just click on it and then press delete and that'll get rid of it. Um, another option that you've got for the uh, film is uh, if you want to, you can actually uh, fade in and out the actual audio of it so it, you can manipulate the audio levels of it so it's pretty cool. You just go into clip, uh, audio, and you can click fade out, fade in, mute if you just want to hear the music um, and you can adjust the volume settings and and another cool option is that you can actually narrate the timelines and um, so you can actually speak over them while they're being while they're playing but besides that all that you learned before like the video transitions and effects uh, they're pretty much all the advanced options that Windows Movie Maker offers to you so I hope you've liked this advanced tutorial for Windows Movie Maker, which was brought to you by Peter's Easy Guide to Windows Movie Maker. And thanks, and I hope you enjoyed it.